everybody doing? This is a surprise live. I didn't really tell anybody I was going live and then we lost power all morning so I'm on now or it wasn't going to happen at all. My name is Bree. I'm the owner and artist of Upcycled by Bree if this is your first time here and I love to go thrifting and junking and then I take those vines and I upcycle them into home decor. So today I have got a big old stash of old saws. Have you guys ever found these before? If so, drop me a comment. And as you're hopping on, say hello, let me know where you're from. So I've got all of these old saws, right? Some of them are really good and rusty, which y'all know I love, but I did paint some of them. Shocking, right? So I used the brand new DIY cottage color, and this is white linen. Now, it has a built-in sealer, I did not put any top coat over these or like any kind of sealer. And you can see some of that good rust came through for me. I wanted that to happen and I'm glad it did. Now, if you were painting these saws and you didn't want the rust, I know they make products out there that will block the rust. I wanted it to come through. Okay, I'm pulling up my video and I'm seeing that that white is like super bright. So I'm gonna adjust my light down a little. This is my first time in, um, this space and this tripod is gonna probably be a little crazy. So we're gonna work with it. All right, hello, hello, who was on? If it gets like wobbly, I apologize. I'm working with like, <laughs> you should see my setup. We're gonna try not to move it too much today. Hey Cindy, hello Veronica. Okay, so like I said, I've got the saws. Some of them I painted with DIY cottage color in white linen, some of them I didn't. So the ones I painted, I figured we could either do some fun stenciling or some transfers on. And then the ones that are just rusty, we're gonna do some um, stenciling with the cottage color. So let's start out while people are hopping on and I wanna put some lavender. I have the IOD um, painterly florals and I wanna put some lavender on one of these. So which one do you think I should put it on? I'm gonna try to mess with my lighting a little while you guys answer me. These first couple lives are gonna be interesting with the lighting in here and the sound and stuff. And once this room is more full, it won't be so echoey. <laughs> Thanks, Veronica said she liked it. Now, <laughs> it still needs a little bit of work and, and doing, but we're getting there. I'm so excited. All right, so I'm thinking on this one, it would be so cute hanging on the wall just from a little nail and I'm gonna do some of the IOD lavender right up the top of it. Um, so I am not actually an IOD retailer as of right now. There's somebody else in my territory, uh, but my wonderful friend Jackie sent me over some of the painterly florals. Um, she is Ruth and Ruby, and I can drop her link later after I'm not live. You can also go to um, find an IOD retailer on Google and it will send you in the right direction. So these transfers are awesome. They come in pages now like this, and you can cut them apart a million different ways, and they stick to a lot of different surfaces. I imagine they're going to stick to this cottage color pretty well since it's got the built-in sealer, but little secret, I put transfers over unsealed paint all the time all the time. So drop me a comment if you have used IOD transfers. Stephanie's from Ohio. I didn't know that. Good to know Stephanie. And what about the gray? Oh, she said put it on the gray. Sorry, I'm doing it on the other one. <laughs> I can put one on. I can put uh, some of this on both of them. And now guys, everything that I do sell is up on my website, uh, upcycledbybree.com which I can drop in the chat here in a little bit. And I have all of this stuff already listed on my Painted Live collection. Um, now, obviously they're not done yet, but as I get them finished, I will update pictures. So if you're interested in any of these saws, you can actually grab them now. They're up, Painted Live collection. So once you cut the transfer apart, it looks like this, and it comes on a paper backing. So you'll peel away that backing and then you have your transfer. Now, once it's stuck to something, it's stuck. So you've got to be super careful. And I know a lot of you have worked with these before. Oh, 
Cindy says she hasn't used the transfers yet, so this will be perfect. So it's stuck down in place, and now I'm gonna use the little plastic tool they gave me, and I'm gonna start rubbing on top of that transfer. And that's gonna start breaking it off of that plastic and onto my saw. You'll kind of see almost a color difference once it starts breaking away. Can you guys see this or is it way too bright? It's a little bit uh, lighter once it starts breaking away and then you know it's ready. Oh, Tammy said cute shirt. Thanks Tammy, this is actually off of Jamie Ray's website. I don't know if she still carries this one. I've had it for a long time. And I love tie-dye and I love leopard print. All right, so once I have now transferred it over onto the um, saw, then I will just peel back this plastic backing. And it has now transferred your lavender onto your saw. How stinking cute is that? I love it. And then it's great because now I can make any design I want. I'm going to um, put, oh, I'm, you know, I like to do numbers in three and five, so I'll probably put three lavender stems on this one. We'll see. But I like to stick my transfers a little closer together. I think more is more with transfers, in my opinion. <laughs> okay, so now that we're crafting, I was thinking these saws would make really great Father's Day gifts too. Obviously, maybe not the lavender one, um, but to do a stencil on it and do something like Dad's Garage or man cave um you know maybe they have like a special vehicle and the vehicle has a name um you know something fun like that maybe they have a gym and they have a name in their gym how fun would that be so if you see these i find them all the time fairly inexpensive at garage sales and flea markets the ones i'm working with today i got um, all from the estate sale company that i partner with so these didn't cost me anything, but I can't get rid of them because they're rusty metal. Y'all already know. How cute is that? And then it'll just hang off of a little hook. Upcycled oh, wall decor. So Father's Day gifts, but, or any, you know, anybody in your life who has been influential, whoever you celebrate on that day, um, also, though, how cute would it be with one that said, she shed? Beer lover, says Stephanie. Exactly. Whatever dad's into, or grandpa, or uncle, or whoever you celebrate, whatever they're into, you can totally customize these. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to do a she shed one and put it up above a doorway or out in the garden. Like, seriously, so many cute options. Do, do, do. All right, this lavender has like three sticking off of it. So let's see, I like to kind of like make sure they're gonna point the right direction and stuff. I think I'm gonna go with this one. And you can see here, I have two of these. This is like my favorite transfer ever. And I try not to honestly use them too much because since I don't sell them, I can't get them to you guys. I always feel bad showing you things I don't can't provide for you, but lots of my friends carry them. So this morning we had no power from like 7 to 2. That was interesting. I was going to go live way earlier today, but the lighting in here is bad anyway. It's looking okay right now. Um, the lighting's bad anyway, so... I didn't want to like try to go live in the dark and then I had no Wi-Fi. And then I almost just didn't do it. Here we are. Hot mess express. <laughs> um, if y'all wouldn't mind sending this video out to a friend who is maybe needing some Father's Day ideas or maybe they have a saw stash and they don't know what to do with it, I would really appreciate it since I wasn't telling anybody I was going live. A little thumbs up and all these comments help a lot too. All right, any questions so far? Any requests that you wanna see on this next saw? I'm gonna do a stencil next. 
the Spriggs stamp, Stephanie, is gorgeous. I have a few stamps as well um, that I love. I don't have the Spriggs one. And I've played with somebody else's IOD mold once and some paper clay, um, and that was a lot of fun, but I don't have any of the molds at all. One day. Big goals, big goals. I love their products. Okay. And that's that. I might do something fun along this side here. I didn't get great coverage. Maybe I'll just do another coat of paint. So I will let you know, this was three coats of the cottage color. So it took, took a little bit to get it covered completely, um, but that paint's not coming off now, y'all. Like it's, and it's only been curing, I would say like three hours, not very long. Um, they recommend 12 hours between coats. I didn't do that. <laughs> if it was furniture, I would have. Um, but it's, yeah, it's, it's on there good. It's not coming off, so. I'm impressed so far. I will clean it up a little bit around the edges. There's a little bit of, um, eh, I got a couple drippies. I'll clean that up and there's some fuzzies on here before I get it shipped out. And I'll probably go ahead and seal over this transfer with some liquid patina. Let's do that. Um, oh, Melissa McCracken, I, I do have the cottage paints in stock on my website. Let me drop them for you real quick here. I didn't pick up the vintage pink yet because I have overstock of um, petticoat pink, like way too many, and it doesn't sell well for me. Pink just doesn't. But if you want some, I will get it for you. I can order some. So I'm going to go ahead and just drop the link here for gray skies. Actually, let's do white linen, and then that'll take you to my website. And you can see all the colors. So the cottage colors are an all-in-one paint, which means they have a built-in sealer. Um, you don't have to seal over them like most of the DIY clay-based paint. It's also self-leveling. So once you put it on there, it smooths itself out, which is um, a game changer. I've, I've never used a self-leveling paint before, so it's been really fun to see how it works. But it also distresses really easy. I put an edited video out oh, a week or so ago um, and, and used it over wood and it distresses beautifully too right after you first put it on. So I'm digging it so far. All right, now let's do, let's do one of these little circular saws. So I thought these would be fun to use also as wall decor, but you know like they, how they do the um, basket walls? You could add something in like this for an industrial touch. I thought that would be super cool. Hello from Greece, welcome, how are you? I believe it's Andreas. Welcome, welcome. We are doing some upcycled saws today. A um, little bit of like she shed or Father's Day decor. I'm using the brand new cottage paints. Hello, Jana, how are you? All right, so on these, I was just gonna do something super simple and do like number one, number seven, number two. I never like to do number one and number two. I usually do like three and seven. So these are all of my Jamie Ray stencils. Usually I have this stuff done before I go live, but today we're winging it. And I sell the uh, stencils over on my site too, upcycledbybrie.com. You're just hopping on. Um, that's great. Melissa said she doesn't want the paint, but some of the others for sure. All right, Melissa, I just dropped that link for you and they were on pre-order, but I've got them in. Um, so they should be shipping out. I ship within a week. They are here and ready to sell. All right. So I'm going to do these, are the letter number trio. I can never remember the name of this one. I'm going to do the N and the O. So it's got uppercase, lowercase and numbers. Is it? They're kind of hard to see. Jamie said she marks like she wrote with a sharpie on the bottom of them. Might be a good idea. I probably stuck them in the wrong bag because that's what I always do is the N and the O. Yep, there it is. Okay, N. Just look for the ones with the paint on them that I've already used. <laughs> There it 
focus number and then I use the dot of the I <laughs> or the J and what number should I do I usually go with three and seven should I switch it up number one number two all right, so I, ha I have not stenciled with this cottage paint yet. We're going to see how it goes. Got a half inch stencil brush. I'd rather have my eighth inch. Moving this stuff. Sorry. The eighth inch stencil brush is better for these little numbers. All right, I've got a few more people hopping on. Hello, everybody. Let me know who you are, where you're from, since YouTube doesn't tell me. Jeez. Jeez, guys. <laughs> these little ones are hard to keep track of. All right. Put them right in front of me so I don't lose them. Now the key to stenciling is having a very dry brush and offloading most of your paint and doing layers. And now with this being a paint that needs to dry a little bit longer, I'll probably be doing a little bit of heat gunning, um, but it's not recommended with this cottage paint necessarily. So the ones that I have listed up on my site already, they're in the To Be Painted collection, all of these saws. Um, and like to be stenciled. Now, with that being said, if you buy one and you shoot me over an email and you have something um, specific you want it to say, I'll try to hook you up as much as I can, as long as it's not too crazy. If you want it to say like she shed or dad's garage or whatever, I can probably make that happen. So I got just a little bit of paint and I offloaded most of that paint onto the drop cloth. And now I am doing a stippling technique, just straight up and down pouncing. And I'll tell you what, that coverage is really good. These JRV stencils are thick. They're made to be used over and over and over and over. A little juicy, I think I need to offload a little bit more, but look how good that coverage is. Hey Elaine, hello, hello. Hey, this was a surprise live, so don't feel bad. I just, I was going to go live this morning and we lost power all morning. So I just hopped on as soon as I could um, and didn't tell anybody. So no worries. We are upcycling some uh, saws. Try it on paper first. Offload on paper. Is that what you're saying, Stephanie? Out of everything I have, I don't know if I have any paper. There's some. You guys, I make such a mess when I'm live. <laughs> All right, we'll try to offload on some paper. Oh, you did you say try it on paper because I haven't tried it yet? That would have been smart. <laughs> That's all right. I think it offloads better on the paper too, though, honestly. So Elaine, we're upcycling these old saws. I had so many in my stash. I got them all for free and I thought they would make really great Father's Day gifts or really good like garden decor. Yes, Elaine also just said that 30 years ago her dad painted one of these and I, when I was looking up inspiration, I saw so many cool ones um, with like farm scenes and like beautiful scenery. And they put like some special rust stopper on theirs first. I didn't do that, Elaine. Let me show you this one up close. Mark, uh, oh, hey, Marty. She said you have to offload quite a bit more than with the DIY paints. And I think you're right. My O and my dot came out better than my N. I offloaded it a little better. I get excited. So, Elaine, I painted this rusty one with the cottage paints. And look how the rust came through. I didn't. I wanted the rest to come through. I didn't seal the rest or anything in first. And it was rusty, rusty, so it blocked some of the rust, but not all of it. So I'm hoping it pulls through on these numbers too. And you guys, if you're interested in the saws, they're on the Painted Live collection on my site. 
Um, and they're listed already. Obviously, they're not all done yet, but you can purchase them now and then email me if you have requests. Upcycledbybree at gmail.com. And I can do like She Shed or Dad's Garage or whatever. Um, oh, also, <laughs> there is a 25% sale on my thrifted found upcycled things on my website right now. It does not include the paint and the products and it does not include my painted live collection. Um, but all of my other stuff is 25% off right now. And you guys don't think my website's gonna be empty soon. <laughs> it's been crazy. Thank you all so much. I needed to downsize inventory a little bit so I didn't have to move so much. Cute, right? And like, so picture like up on the wall, a couple of baskets or whatever, and then a couple of these stuck in, or you can even attach these to like furniture and stuff for a super industrial look, right? There is some bleed on there for sure. And now I don't know, let's see. <laughs> like with DIY paint, I could just use like a little Q-tip later and wipe it back. Yeah. Use my, my Cricut metal tool and scrape it off before it cures. <laughs> Just a little bit on that end. But if this were really an old industrial stencil stamp, whatever, anyway, it wouldn't be perfect. We all know that. That cleans that in up a little bit. <laughs> okay. So we got the circular stencil, we got an IOD transfer on one. How long have I been on? Only 20 minutes. I have a lot to do today, so I'm not gonna stay on super long, but does anybody have any requests? Anybody wanna see, um, I've got sunflowers and roses. I've got these saws. I've got a ton of stencils. Any requests before I go? Marty, I was watching the thrift haul, Jamie's thrift haul this morning, and I saw that the urn broke. My heart sank. Sunflowers. Okay, I'll do some sunflowers real quick. Here, I'll put the lid on this one. You all kind of get the idea of the paint, or that's going to take me forever. I want to do some sunflowers. I was hoping that's what somebody would say. <laughs> The transfers are fun because they're a lot harder to mess up than stencils. All right, I've got a couple here. Hello, Rosa, how are you? Ooh, how about on a circular one? Yes. Thank you, Elaine. She says she likes my new space. I did a fantastic job. Oh, Marty, my heart sank. <laughs> yes, Elaine, I've got so much room for activities. Like, I'm not tripping over myself yet. Now, I might end up <laughs> adding more. I added some of my little knickknacks and whatnots this morning when I had no light. All right, so I'm gonna hang this little guy off of the edge just a little bit. When I use my transfers, instead of just like plopping it right in the middle, like it's just hanging out in space nowhere, right? I like to make it kind of like grow off the side. I don't wanna to lose too much of it and stay cost efficient. But that way it just looks like it's kind of growing and it's not floating. <laughs> yet, says Elaine, yes, yet. Yes, Marty, this is gonna be cute. The sunflower was a good idea. Now, I don't know, like the sunflower is the Kansas state flower. I live in Topeka, Kansas, the state capital, right? So we're always down for sunflowers, but I feel like they're almost seasonal other places. Um, you know, more like people use them more in the fall or more in the summer. We use them all the time here. <laughs> Stephanie says sunflower on black. Okay, I will do that for you too, Stephanie. Maybe not on the big long black one because I want a stencil. That one says stencil on my site. But I have a black circle one. Only because that long black one says I was going to stencil it already. 
So I was wondering too, as I put the transfers on this and kind of removed them or um, was scraping if it was gonna mess with this paint and it doesn't. I thought I might take a light grit sandpaper, like real light grit, like 600 or 400, just around the edges a little bit. We'll see. I don't want it to look scratched on the metal. Okay. Now, this is kind of, this is a method called riding the wave. It's stuck down to some parts and I can see on some parts it's not completely stuck. So as I start to peel it back, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna rub right along parallel with how I'm peeling it. Kind of like if you were surfing on a wave and that just makes sure if any of it tries to lift up, you're pushing it back down as you peel. And I like to do this with the bigger pieces. I didn't really need to on the lavender, but on these bigger sections of transfer, it really helps. Ta-da! Owl's thinking cute. And then there's a hole right here. So I'll just take my paintbrush. I'm gonna poke through that. That's cute. Okay, now imagine that hanging up on the wall in between some baskets and stuff. Adorable. Adorable. And then there's some hanging over the edge here. So I will just rub facing outwards and it will, especially over that saw blade, just break right off for me. If you guys upcycle saw blades or if you purchase these, please be careful. They are sharp. That's cute. All right, let's do a little liquid patina over it to seal just so I get some, at least one of these projects finished. Stephanie says that they do sunflowers in the fall. Yeah, so, so we do a lot here in the summer because that is like when you would, like end of summer or whatever is when you like go harvest them, I think. We have a sunflower farm here. I'll have to go take pictures there this year. I've never actually done that. When everything's in bloom, you can take your family out and take pictures on your phones. All right, to seal this up, so, whoops, with a little bit of liquid patina. I forget that I have room to move my cart now. It was against the wall before. Okay, so just a little cup here. I'm gonna pour a little bit of this out and that way I don't contaminate my big container. Um, liquid Patina is a multi-use product. You can use it as a decoupage medium or a top coat, um, a transfer gel. It does lots of good stuff and it dries pretty quickly, um, which is nice but not so fast that you can't um, use it easily when you're decoupaging. It also dries pretty matte, which is why I like to use it over the transfers. So once your transfer is on, you wanna make sure it's on, on. Use a little bit of a clean rag here and just rub over it. That's called burnishing your transfer. Just making sure that all of it's rubbed down. Cool. And then once, see, I just feel like the edges need to be distressed a little. I'm scared, I don't wanna ruin it. <laughs> it really doesn't wanna come off, so that's, that's a good sign. I guess everything doesn't have to be distressed. Now I've got a little bit of like um, a little bit of pooling. I had a little too much paint right there and using this 220 sanding pad, it is leveling it out well. So if you do get a little bit of a drip, you should be able to smooth it out fairly easily. <laughs> the first time I opened this and I was painting, um, that wooden shelf, man, I was dripping paint everywhere. I'm so used to this super thick clay paint. Yeah, that's not distressing, so we're not going to distress it. <laughs> and I'm only going to seal over where the transfer is. Since the cottage paint already has the sealer in it, there's no need to waste my product. Oh, that's so cute. So this is $9.95 up on my site in the Painted Live collection if you need yourself a saw blade at Sunflower. <laughs> yep. Now let's
let that dry. Um, Marty said the chemical stencil might look nice on one of the saws. You read my mind. I was thinking on that black one, I would do nice, crisp, white, American Agricole Company, that one. Yes, ma'am. Um, Stephanie says, can you use wax to seal over that paint? Stephanie, you can, but it has a built-in sealer, so you don't need to. Um, what I was wondering, and we can try it real quick on this one. I can do it along the edge here, is how the wax would act over it. So let's get a little bit of black, just a little bit of black wax. Cause I'm afraid like since it's got the built-in sealer that the wax wouldn't cure, but the wax should cure it, anyway, right? I mean, it, the wax cures over a polyacrylic, it just takes a little longer. Right? <laughs> I don't know where any of my stuff is. <laughs> Oh, so I'm just going to get a little chippy brush. A little tiny bit of black wax. I don't want very much. So the wax goes right on, Stephanie, but then it, it does like... It does wipe mostly back off, but it sits down in any of those little imperfections. So Stephanie, it was very hard to try to distress back over this metal, not budging. But over the wood, when I did the, my wood pieces um, on my last edited video, it distressed beautifully. And I also only waited, you know, I just, I let it dry for like an hour, maybe two then, and, and then distressed it right away with the orbital sander, 220 grit sandpaper. I think I just hand sand, I just hand sanded it. It wasn't even an orbital. 220 grit sandpaper, and it came off gorgeous. If you haven't seen that video, um, I'll drop it for you real quick. So I, and see, that's the thing that has always made me hesitant about these one step paints with the built in sealer, because I like to distress and I'm like, I don't, you know, I don't want it to seal itself because I want to be able to distress it, but it did. Now, not on this metal, it didn't. <laughs> okay. I just dropped the link to that, um, other video I did. I thought you commented on it, but maybe not if you haven't seen it. There it is. Okay. So the wax does go over it. You can, I mean, you can use wax and seal it up more. You don't need to, um, but it, it sticks and it looks good. That was like the perfect little touch on the side of that saw. And like, instead of distressing around the edges of the sunflower, I could do just like a little tiny touch of the black wax. <laughs> Look, Stephanie, you just saved the day. Gorgeous. See, that adds just like, just enough of a little touch. There's some fuzzies stuck to it from the towel. We'll get rid of those. Okay, I'm gonna put a sunflower on this black one for Stephanie because I said I would, and I think um, that might be it for today. Now I wanna do the Agrico stencil too. This is my ADD crafty. <laughs> but this is how I work. This is how I actually work. I have like 7,000 projects going at once. Always. This one's kind of cool the way it is. But yeah, this cottage paint is fine. It's definitely different um, than, than what I'm used to, but I've enjoyed it a lot. And I cannot wait to get it on a big piece of furniture. I'm just cleaning these with a little Windex, nothing special. Um, I can't wait to get it up on a big piece of furniture and try out the self-leveling aspect of it that way. So before you do your transfer, you do want to make sure you're free of dust and whatnot so it sticks. 
Oh, these are fun. As soon as I get them done, I'll update the pictures on my website, and that way everybody knows what they actually look like once they're completed. But I imagine a few of y'all have some saws in your stash. Hey, Stephanie, I am uh, up upcycling some old saws. I've got a bunch of uh, saws in my stash. <laughs> Say that 10 times fast. And I used the Cottage Paint by DIY, the One Step Paint. And now I'm just adding some transfers and some stencils. I thought these would make fun Father's Day gift ideas or like she shed garden art. The transfers, um, once sealed with liquid patina, will not, I'm sure, hold up outside forever. But I bet they'd last a summer or two and then just distress naturally. <laughs> All right, Elaine, you have fun, darling. I will talk to you later. I'm almost done anyway. Oh, look at that. You're right. Stephanie, do I win a saw? I, girl, email me. Upcycledbybree at gmail.com. We'll talk. <laughs> you did have two genius ideas today. For sure. Oh, this black one that I'm working on right now is actually not listed. So, if you like it, that we can work something out. I was going to use, I saved five of these. I stuck them over to the side because I want to do a wall um, arrangement, but I've got plenty. And once I put my wall arrangement up, once it happens, I will put a post up if I remember. <laughs> Well, I get this one on, again, I've got about 40 people on now, just upcycling some old saws. They're all listed in my Painted Live collection over on the site. Great Father's Day ideas. I'm going to see if I can't find that Painted Live collection for you guys. If you're watching the replay, if you click live chat, you should be able to see the links I'm dropping. Pretty soon I'm going to need a link dropper. I think my 10 year old's about old enough to do that. There we go. There we go. It's not wanting to stick to this one. Oh, there it goes. A couple of spots. I'm assuming they're, since they're like saw blades or something, they're probably a little bit of grease and grime on them. But these transfers are pretty forgiving. Again, this is the Painterly Florals transfer, and I do not sell it. But if you go to find an IOD retailer on Google, you can find somebody close to you. Or my friend Jackie from Ruth and Ruby sent me this one. I can link her site once I'm done being live. Just pop the little center out forget it sticks to my fingers <laughs> all right i think that's about it for today you guys i wanted to knock this uh pile of saws out i've had them i've been accumulating them for a couple of months now i just couldn't figure out what i wanted to do i saw some cute ideas but once the cottage paint came out and I was like, oh, I want to paint metal. That's when it popped into my mind. All right, Stephanie, email me. Actually, you really don't even have to. Let me just write it down. No, just please email me. I'm going to forget. That's, I just, let's be honest with myself. <laughs> not that you're not important at all. It's just the way I work. Oh my gosh. Look at that. How cute. Okay, friends, if you don't mind hitting that thumbs up button, and if you have a friend who likes to upcycle, or you have a friend who has a saw stash, if you would share this out with them, I would appreciate it. I'm picking transfer off my fingers. Next week, I will be back with some more edited videos. Um, not sure what yet, but we'll do some fun stuff, and we'll continue with a little more of the home updates as well.
No, I'm not kidding, Stephanie. Um, I'm being serious. You've been a big supporter for a long time, and you really just gave me some genius ideas. Just email me. Um, and yes, I will be giving a home tour soon. She says she's going to need a home tour. I've got to get this place put together. <laughs> this is happening room by room slowly, so we will do that. But I appreciate y'all hopping on, spending a little time with me on this Sunday, and I will see y'all very soon. Bye, friends. Oh, I can't reach. I'm going to come around. <laughs> Bye, guys.